Hello everyone! Welcome to Math is Fun! Our lesson for today is all about solving routine and non-routine problems involving multiplication without or with addition or subtraction of fractions and mixed fractions using appropriate problem-solving strategies and tools. What is a routine problem? Routine problem is a translation problem in which you can write an equation and there is an immediate solution. What is a non-routine problem? Non-routine problem is a problem in which it requires analysis and insights into known principles of mathematics. These are the steps in solving routine problems. First, we should understand the problem. In understanding, read the question twice or thrice, then know what is asked and what is or are the given facts. Second, formulate a plan. In planning, consider the following. Know what is or are the operations to be used and what is the number sentence? The third step is, we're going to carry out the plan. Let's solve the problem. In solving, show your solution and level the final answer. Lastly, we're going to check or look back. In checking, go back and check the flow of your computation. This is our first problem. A buko salad recipe uses 3 and 1 fourth cups of milk. How much milk is needed if 1 and 1 half times of the recipe will be prepared? Our first problem is a routine problem. So, we're going to use the four-step plan. First, we're going to understand the problem. We should know what is asked. So, what is asked in this problem? Yes, this problem is asking for the number of cups of milk needed if one and one half times of the recipe will be prepared. And also, we should know what are the gi given facts. So, the given facts in this problem are the recipe uses 3 and 1 foot cups of milk and will prepare 1 and 1 half times of the recipe. We already understand the problem. The next step is we're going to make a plan. So under planning, we should consider what is the operation to be used. So, what do you think the operation that we're going to use to solve this problem? Alright, the operation to be used is multiplication. What is the number sentence? Very good. 3 and 1 fourth times 1 and 1 half is equal to n. Since we have already applied, then let's solve the problem. 3 and 1 fourth times 1 and 1 half. So, let's change 3 and 1 fourth into an improper fraction. So, 3 times 4 is equal to 12 plus 1 is equal to 13. Then, copy the denominator 4 times. We're going to change 1 and 1 half into an improper fraction. So, 1 times 2 is equal to 2 plus 1 is equal to 3. Then copy the denominator 2. Next, multiply both numerators and both denominators. So 13 times 3 is equal to 39. 4 times 2 is equal to 8. What kind of fraction is 39 over 8? Yes, it is an improper fraction. How do we reduce improper fraction to its lowest term? All right. We're going to divide the numerator by the denominator. So, 39 divided by 8, the answer is equal to 4. 4 times 8 is equal to 32. 39 minus 32 is equal to 7. 
we take 7 as our numerator and 8 as our denominator. So 39 over 8 or 4 and 7, 8. 4 and 7, 8 cups of milk needed to prepare 1 and 1 half times of the recipe. Alright, we already solved the problem. The last step is we're going to check. In checking, check your answer by repeating the calculation. This is one way to check if your answer is correct. This is our second problem. Shella celebrated her birthday alone by buying herself a cake. She ate one-fourth of the cake for breakfast and put the remaining cake in the freezer. After eating her lunch, she ate two-fifths of the cake left. How much cake did Shella eat? The second problem is a non-routine problem. So let's use an illustration to visualize how we're going to solve this problem. For example, this is the cake that Shella bought. She sliced it into four equal parts. Then she ate one-fourth of it. So, how many slices left? Let's count. One, two, three. Yes, there are three slices left out of four parts. So, the remaining cake is three-fourths. After eating lunch, she ate two-fifths of the remaining. So, the question is, how much cake did Shella eat? So, let's multiply two-fifths and three-fourths. Remember to use a cancellation method before multiplying both numerators and both denominators if possible. So, in this example, two and four, they have a common factor which is equal to two. Two divided by two is equal to one. Four divided by two is equal to two. Then, multiply both numerators and both denominators. 1 times 3 is equal to 3. 5 times 2 is equal to 10. Therefore, 3 tenths of the cake Shela ate. I hope that you understand our lesson for today. With that, mathematics may not teach us how to add love and subtract hate, but it gives us hope that every problem has a solution. Thank you for watching this video and don't forget to like and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more educational videos.